Oh boy, it's partial fractions time. I'm going to go ahead and factor this. That is completely x squared 9 and x squared minus 4. Okay, now I know you're thinking you might want to factor this too. Okay, but you don't have to. You don't gotta. So there's no need to get fancy. You don't have to factor it. Okay, you could just leave it like this. So, heavy side time. You know the drill. Okay, let's see. We know that what the numerator is already 1. So if I plug in 9 here, I get 5. Plug in 4 here, I get negative 5. Okay, so now what we have is one fifth of this is this side is negative, so we have a half of inverse tanj of x over two minus one third of inverse tanj x over three. I would want to leave it like this. Well, actually, no, I can. I can leave it like this. Yes, I can. Because it's less than 1. So, ooh, 1 tenth inverse tanch of a half minus 1 third of inverse tanch of 1 third. Yeah. This is allowed. You can leave your answer like this. As long as your this if this is bigger than 1, then you need to change it into a log form. Like, you need to use this. Um, yeah, this is equal to a half of ln of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. Okay? So if this is, if x, if x is bigger than 1, you need to change it in this form. Otherwise, your answer is considered complex form, and that's not, a, that's not acceptable. So, uh, just be very careful, okay, which is absolute values, but thankfully my answer is less than 1, so uh, this, is, this is good. Oh, wait, no, I realize this is not correct. No, no, this is, one, this is 15. So, this is 1 over 15, and then make sure to use this whenever x is greater than 1, okay?